everyone and welcome to this week's plan with me and oops there's a little snippet of next week i almost never decorate far and ahead but that was for my brimble's design team project and obviously my blog post was due and i wanted to use the planner nerd stickers for the week of PlannerCon, so that's why you're seeing that there the plan with me will be for that will be out next sunday but let's talk about this week now shall we so i'm calling it feeling blue but i'm not actually feeling blue as in like the the normal phrase i'm just calling it feeling blue because I'm just using lots of blue which is incidentally my absolute favorite color so that kit you can just sort of see spread up the top there is actually one I have had for oh my goodness at least two years I'm not kidding on this it's from a shop called Dragon Hues on Etsy which I checked for you it is closed it seems to have been closed for a while now I will also point out I didn't actually I haven't been hoarding this kit for two years the seller actually accidentally sent me two of the same kit so I did actually use it once and I just happened to have a spare so yes that's just justifying my little actions there so the washi tape I put at the top and the bottom is just from my stash I think it was either from tiger or flying tiger as it's now called I don't like the name it's been over a year since it's been called flying tiger and I still can't call it flying tiger it's just tiger anyway that or it was from poundland but i'm fairly sure it was from tiger anyways um so yeah i won't be able to link that bit that was the point of what i was saying there and the stuff up the sides i bought from an, another etsy shop that's actually closed oh my goodness me this is me kind of reflecting on the fact that i have so much stash and i'm trying desperately to use it so yes anyway so if you're the kind of person who might get annoyed with you know why are they using stuff that i can't get hold of well i need to use my stash but also like i'm hoping when i do plan with me's and stuff with kits and stuff it helps other people see how they can use kits especially in a personal size planner because an awful lot of kits are designed for a5 or aaron condren or something and i just like to share how you can use these stickers that are designed for other things in the way that they are not designed for that was a convoluted sentence anyways so i finally hooray made some new day and date stickers for myself um i've been using the same two fonts for about six months and i made some new ones so yay for me i often get asked by the way do you sell those stickers and the answer is no not at this time and there are many many reasons for that but one of them is that i don't think at this time i can produce them at a quality that would be fair to sell to other people if that makes sense so that's why at this time i don't sell them maybe i will in the future if i get a better quality printer or something like that but anyways i've also forgotten the name of the font i've used for that so again apologies but anyways yes i put those hydrate stickers down just because they're in the kit and i thought yeah might as well might as well use them i don't tend to track those kind of things but you know when in rome or when in sticker kit so um those stickers there i'm putting down are from the plump planner these pain tracker stickers annoyingly things have not been fabulous on in that area of my life recently and i'm just trying to keep a better track of these things just a question anyone else who uses these kind of stickers because it's like pain tracker and then one to ten and then an area where you can put like i'm guessing like where it hurts or something yeah for anyone else who uses these stickers if you have pain in multiple places what did you what do you put in that little area do you write both but then one area might hurt less than the other one i don't i just don't know i don't know how to use them in in that regard so any tips on that would would be helpful rather other than just using two or three of the same sticker because that would be inconvenient but yes rambly 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 today it would seem but basically for this entire spread i'm just going through my stash of stickers there's lots you can see coming up from the plump planner a lot of them are really old ones that's from plump planner as well but just using lots and lots of blue things the whole spread is just beautiful blue because i love blue so much there's also those cat ones which aren't technically blue but they're gray with a hint of blue so they work there's the one the clean the litter box and the flea treatment one because conan needs his flea treatment this week so he doesn't get nasty biteies and also the I, nasty biteies don't bite me either i'm very delicious to biting insects it would seem mostly mozzies but anyways <laughs> random tangent there i'm also being distracted because conan's looking at me right now it's like he knows i'm talking about him he does know i'm talking about him anyways i wanted to work on a few quote stickers on this one as well again blue ones and that one from the plant planner is a full box size sticker um but i just cut out as you saw the the blue circle part because i didn't want those red dots on it and stuff so i just cut that out 
Um, I'm sorry if you can hear a siren, by the way. Go away, thank you. <laughs> that uh, clear quote sticker is from the shop Dream Big and Plan. Oh man, I love that shop. Haven't ordered from them for ages. Again, I'm trying not to order too many Etsy stickers at the moment, just for financial reasons, because I spent a ridiculous amount of money on Etsy stickers last year, and I really don't need any more. But Dream Big and Plan is an excellent shop, guys, and I will link it, and you should definitely check it out. Those heart stickers there, the sort of disco ball heart stickers, from that same shop as are those feathers actually but yes at this stage I was just kind of going through my decorative stickers and finding blue things to put on rather than the more functional things like the the change bed sticker and the vacuuming sticker those are both from Plum Planner the same two shops seem to occur frequently in my layouts here um those are just like cheap ones that i got from ebay those little hearts very cute though and i think that's pretty much it when it comes to the decorative stickers anyway so i just slipped that in half obviously i'd put the those four boxes down the middle for the sort of the decorative purposes and for some reason i tend to like to separate the pages once i want to start writing things down i don't quite know why and look i wrote plan with me out of complete habit but i don't actually need to do it because i've already done it but anyway <laughs> never mind and yeah i haven't written loads down this week because i haven't got loads and loads planned as some of you often know i tend to plan just a day or two in advance and just put the main key things in my planner for the week when i plan on a saturday but there we go it is finished very blue very pretty. I love blue so much. So yes, thank you so, so much for watching. If you want a sneak peek at, actually it's more than a sneak peek, you'll see the whole thing at my next week's plan with me, then it will be up on my blog. It's up on my blog now. I'm not entirely sure when it's going to be on the Brimble's blog, but yes, check that out if you want to see. And yes, okay, I'm now going. All the things will be linked. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!